Hello people, you are seeing my record rack, and now in a quick second, you will see me. Hello to everybody there. Okay, let's kind of move this so it won't go. There we go again. Hey guys, you haven't seen JC LP Loco in a long time. <laughs> Hi to all members of the vinyl community, the VC. And the video gamers, my buddies out there, you know who you all are. I can't mention all you by name because you're a lot of good people. I always check your Facebook pages by name, just a few. Don't feel bad if you get left out. You're all buddies. Uh, from Derek, Nathan, Rob, Chris, my friends in Canada, Craig, Ali, my bro in Miami, Abe Sanchez, who... Uh, it's been a while since we reconnected. I'm glad we reconnected, bro. It's been two and a half long years. Nice to talk to you again. Nice to see you on Facebook and Twitter and Instagram. A lot of things going on. Been pretty busy in these past three or four months without posting a video. Um, you know, I have uh, constraints when it comes to no more space in this one bedroom apartment in Maryland. But, uh, you know, occasionally I might get something. Uh, be very careful. You know, if I had a big house with a basement, maybe it would be different. You know, and I would get um, more um, more things. So as you see, Rake and Rack with my Spidey's up there, Snoopy's up there. You can't probably see him. About a couple, uh, 150, uh, 45's, you know, a good 1,500 records in here. Uh, more or less, give or take a few. Um, uh, just picked up in the past couple of weeks. Uh, pretty good stuff. Um, went to my local uh, Goodwill. There's a couple of Goodwills. There's one which I got an incredible find for just like three bucks. I got a tons of cool uh, rap, hip hop stuff, uh, maxis, white label promo, promos, you know, maxi promos. I uh, got a couple of reissues. I didn't get that. The Goodwill, obviously. Um, got the Wu Tang Enter 36 Chambers. I never had that album. I've heard it in CD. I, I think I have it somewhere there. It's pretty good. Uh, which is a classic actually. We got the reissue, paid like a 15, 16. And then I got a great one, you know, another classic, uh, Captain Beefheart, Safe as Milk. You know, we all remember the movie um, High Fidelity, you know, when Jack Black tells that guy come in the store, you can have this. And he sells it for the other guy, I think it was like about 40, 50 bucks. Um, great, great movie, one of my favorites. Uh, Nick Hornby, I love his novels. I have like four or five of his novels. Um, great movie so uh without further ado people in the vc let's start uh, with the uh, two reissues uh can be far safe as milk 10 bucks i mean really good sealed i mean uh you know got this at books a million you know books a million is selling vinyl so is some fyes but fye kind of sucks even though the wu tang got an fye so it is it's uh, of course reissue sealed um buddha records um i don't know if this is a 180 gram i know it's reissued uh I don't have much info on it. I mean, knowing the songs are nuts and great, you know, like Abba Zabba. There it is. The high um, fidelity one we were talking about with the B Hard and Company. Uh, Enter the 36 Chambers Wu Tang Clan. Man, that's a, a great album to have been reissued. Uh, you know, these guys are great. I um, have the PlayStation game. I forgot the name of it, but I do own it with the music from them. You know, pretty cool game that shows you how popular they were back in the mid 90s. You know, for even the Sony PlayStation to have a game with their music and their theme on it. Actually, they were like combating ninjas. Pretty cool game. Some would say violent, well, maybe for the time. Group therapy. You know, this is these are the ones I got in the Goodwill. The ones coming up for just three bucks, um, just a total. I mean, Group Theory. It's a promo. It's a East Coast West Coast Killers. Featuring RBS, Karis, One, Be Real, and Nas, and produced by Dre. Um, you know, it's in great shape. This, these albums, these, all of these uh, pro promo, you know, DJ promos are in great shape. I mean, what can I tell you? This was another one produced by Dre. Um, actually, it's DJ Muggs presents Dr. Dre and Be Real, Puppet Master. DJ Muggs presents Soul Assassins, uh, Puppet Master, you know, on Columbia Records. I mean, just pretty really really cool really cool really cool another one this is one uh, with uh, following the steps of Dre Dr. Dre you know <laughs> from the original movie Santric Friday keep their heads ringing and uh, Mac 10 did take a hit um, yeah, 
It's the joint. A <laughs> great movie, Love Friday. Uh, that is, I mean, the other two movies were okay, but the first one is just a classic. Bang, 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 bang. <laughs> okay, now we're going to go with uh, Death Row Records, the uh, Don Caluminati. This is Machiavelli to Live and Die in LA featuring Val Young, Sergey Knight, the producer. It's another promo on Death Row Records. I mean, these are all great copies, and they're in great, great shape, like new. I mean, some people maybe they're tired of DJing, I'm assuming, and they go, well, whatever. And the last one, which is just an amazing find, is a white label promo of Ice Cube, The World Is Mine. Man, a white label promo. I mean, they don't, you don't see them that much often on the streets. I mean, this one's just an amazing shape, everything new. They just shipped it out, of course, white label promo, nothing on it. Just, you know, just the white label promo of Ice Cube's song, uh, which is a pretty kicking song, by the way. Um, I'm just telling you guys, it's amazing what you can find in Goodwills. And these are the Goodwill finds. You know, of course, it's not easy, and I'm saying you're going to find this every day at your local Goodwill stores, but, you know, you got to look. You got to look. You never know what kind of gems. So basically, it was one, two, it was more than these three, four. These are five, but it was like eight for three dollars. There might have been a couple more in there. Um, you know, let me just live, uh, live check. You know how that you guys are looking. It was, yeah, I have like three copies of the Sugar Hill Gang Rappers Delight, two in the original orange label. You know, I think there were not too many of those pressed, of the original pressing of them. And I'm going to look for you. I think I have it here somewhere. There was a couple more. Was this one there too? Oh yeah, the Outcast, Jazzy, Jazzy Bell. The Outcast was another one with Jazzy Bell, another promo. Jazzy Bell. And um, I think there might have been a couple more. That's an EPMD Def Jam. So th there's, there's, you know, there's a couple more that I might have missed. The were white label promos. I have a, a couple more promos. I have Busta Rhymes test pressings on white label promo. Uh, I have like about six or seven white label promos when it comes to hip hop. Um, so that was pretty cool. Just wanted to show you guys that. Catch up with you guys. Hope you guys are having a good end of summer. Um, we're doing well at work. Busy, 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 which is nice. You know, can't complain. Hope all you guys are doing well. Health. Why it's Abe. Like I said, cool to reconnect with you, bro. Hope you enjoy the video and my other videos that you probably haven't seen in a, you know, that I've posted in the past. Um, to all you brothers in the vinyl community, all my fellow VC brothers, VC family members, peace to you. Um, shout out to all. I see you guys on Facebook a lot. Uh, Derek, you were very cool to be in the actual news, you know, that, that magazine, that, that magazine in Omaha, you on the cover, I'd be an interview, that was pretty cool, I always keep your, ahead of your releases, Nathan, I love your posts on Facebook, Rob, when you post, uh, it's cool too, all the other guys that post um, on Facebook, I go on Facebook, I don't post maybe as much as I used to too, but you know, I'm on it, uh, I'm checking it out, so I uh, hope you guys are doing great, talk to you soon, um, you're going to see the Baker's Rack of Records, my collection there for a second or two. Oh, you guys know I was on television last year in December. It was a, a couple of minutes segment with Gary Gibbler. So hi to you too, Gary. I'm from Tracks on Works, my buddy. who owns a great record store here in Maryland, in Canesville. Um, he called me and, you know, me and another young fellow were talking about vinyl with Mike Shute, you know, one of the uh, fairly well-known reporters here in the Baltimore, Maryland area. And um, I'll, I think I posted it when I came out on Facebook. I might repost it again. Maybe I don't know if I can post it on YouTube somehow so you guys can see it. Um, if you're not on my Facebook page and want to say hi, peace. Hopefully, you know, I'm sorry for the delay of posting. I'll try to post quicker videos. Um, I'm in a lot, as you guys know, I'm also heavily into books, into video games. Um, but, uh, you know, vinyl is my first love, of course. So. Loco, help you loco sing peace out to all you. Love you, man. Talk to you soon. Adios, amigos. Record Rack, say goodbye. Bye bye. Record Rack says bye bye. Peace.